Today we're going to talk about how to power the new pixels if you're going to use more than the Arduino can power. What you're going to need is, a, is an external power supply like this one. Uh, this one is rated for 10 amps and uh, has to be uh, plugged into 212 volts into like main power. So for that you're going to need a power cable and a plug for usual connections. You're going to need a Phillips head and a flat screwdriver, wire strippers, and um, and a wire clamp like this one. All of these tools can be found in the blue shed over there. So, first of all, how to get started is um, if you take like main the main plug here and you undo the middle screw. After this, you will reveal like the inside, and you have to attach the. Oh, uh, power to to these uh, two terminals and it doesn't matter in which direction they are because it's flexing current. Else you have to get your wires, wire strippers. You can undo the wire, you have to undo like quite a bit. It's easier to cut something off than to, to add wires. Then we're going to strip it for pure copper. I, shift, I twist my wires so they're easy to handle. Okay, then we need to undo in the bottom here. This one is just like a clamp for making sure when you're pulling the wires that they don't actually pull the whole wire out of the plug. I usually undo a full screw, turn it to the side, and then this one has to attach. You can undo the, the top for easier connection. Okay, and as I told you, it doesn't matter doesn't matter for which way this one turns into it just has to go in there and then you have to tighten it yes 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 no worry about and we had the chance to be in touch we got the chance to be in touch with uh going into the plug like this and then they have to fold just in here okay. and in here. This is the reason for you should have enough, but not too much. No, no, and no, then no, the no, top no, clamp no, here no, should no. go over. Okay. Doesn't you can just make it a bit looser. Okay, doing other screwing. Just make sure that it's nice scooting in there and then close it off. Okay. okay, so now having attached the, the plug, we of course has to get the other end attached to the, to the power supply here. So that has AC, uh, in an L here for the wires and then it has like the output terminals here for 5 volts so this one is a 5 volt 10 amp power supply so this is where we will attach your Arduino and your your new pixel strips same procedure as last time stripping this time you would like to have a bit more copper exposed Again, I twist. And then we need the wire clamp. So you will get two of these heads that are going on to the wires. Just like so. Should just, just, the wire should just barely come out. And then it's going to fit in. I always just fit it in the first one. Plug it in here and then press it tight. So this just makes sure that the the, wi the twisted wires don't untangle if you're going to connect and I like connect and I disconnect multiple times. Just like so. And they're going to attach in here. 
Okay. So now we have like the power for the power unit here. Now we have to attach the Arduino strip. So having your Arduino of course has three legs here. So it has the ground, the positive five volt and the data connection. So what we want to do is that we want to attach the positive into V plus. So on giving screws here. Just press it in under and tighten. V minus. And here we have the Arduino Maker, doesn't matter which Arduino you're using, has to go into the data connection. Okay, but it is important that if you do this, that because the power unit is not, like the power is not provided from the Arduino, so it's important that they have like a common reference. So it's very, very important that you connect a ground to the negative terminal and plug it into the ground of the Arduino. So everything is like the same. In here, we will just do another wire. Now two wires in and into ground here on the Arduino, just like so. Okay, everything done is, uh, you need to plug in the power. Okay, remember, this is 230 volts. It has clear terminals here that you actually are able to touch. So when you do plug this in, it's really, really important that you don't touch either of these terminals, otherwise you will be shocked. And if you get shocked, it is actually required that you have to go to a hospital for 24 hours observation. As you see, our our strip is running and everything is uh, is running good. But the the problem with this is like if I unplug the Arduino, the, the, the strip will just stop because it doesn't receive any data. But many cases you don't want you to attach your computer to the Arduino and you don't want to power it elsewhere. You have a big power unit here so you can of course just power your Arduino with the same connections. So first things, if I want to do that, is of course unplugging the power unit. Okay, green light turns off, safe to touch. And then I just have to find a wire. Have any light here, safe to touch. So I'm just going to attach one more wire until like, into the, into this terminal. Here and then over to five volts on the Arduino. Okay, just like so. Okay, the green light is actually going to turn on here because the power, like um, the Arduino, is right now powering the power unit. Does it isn't a, it isn't plugged in, so they are safe to touch. If I unplug the Arduino from the computer, it will turn off, uh, and it is perfectly safe to have your computer plugged in and having the power unit turned on. So now I'm going to plug it in, making sure that I'm safe here. We just went through an error because we didn't receive any uh, any light into the LED strip and it actually turned out because that uh, one of the wires actually broke inside the terminal. And it happens quite often, I might say, because using stiff wires and the connectors here. So so what you can do instead is like, dub, like I prefer to double up. So I remove a lot of, of the insulation and then double it. So I have a better connection inside here. So I'll just do that with this one and do this one as well. Just, just folding it back in half. Both of them in here, attached in, and screwing down again. Okay. So now, if I plug in, we should have yes, light in there. Perfect. So, but if I un undo the maker board here and actually power it from the five volts from this one, you should see the, 
Or you know, continue on with the pattern. I only like it just has to reboot, and then you will see like right now that the colors should change. Yes. So it actually is running his code right now, just through the power of this standard login package. So you never have to have your computer attached to it if you're going into a setup. That's basic. That's basically what you do. What you have if you're using a shorter amount of uh, of the new pixel strips. If you're using a longer distance, then I would say about 10 meters, depending on colors. If you're using wide colors, it's always more power demanding. So if you need to power white all LEDs for a longer strip, you need to have you need to attach power like until in the middle of the of the Arduino strip. So you just have to solder new wires on here, coming all the way from the power connector here, attached over to this one, running in parallel. Just because the newer pixel is so thin that the power is not able to come all the way through. You can always try it out. Uh, it will fail at some point if it gets too long or the power demand is too, too bright. So it will be from the beginning. It will be fine, but after a while they might dim or they might do wrong colors or they might not turn on not turn on at all that means uh, all of these things means more power is needed or an error in the code that could be as well so but that's basically how you're going to power your neopixels